Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Um, and Happy New Year! I thought I'd start off the new year by filming um, my yearly makeup favorites. I love to watch these videos, so I'm going to film it because they're kind of my favorite to watch. And this year, I do have a, like a few new things, but I also have a lot of like older products. These are my 2019 favorites, but it doesn't necessarily mean they came out in 2019 because for me 2019 was really like a year of rediscovery because I really like made an effort to shop my own um, collection and only buy things like as I ran out unless I really wanted to try it. Obviously I did haul some stuff this year, but like not that much. I tried to be really good and I've been using things that I have because I don't know, I just find like we get into this rut or like this habit of all, buying all new things and then we forget about things that we had so anyways enough rambling i'm really sorry about the noise of my fish tank try to get past it um but yeah let's just get into it i guess i'm gonna start by primers i have two favorite primers for 2019 the first one is this milk hydro grip primer i got the mini guy um, but when it runs out, I will buy the full size, but you don't use a lot So this mini guy has lasted me forever because I only use like the tiniest amount and you just kind of like push it in and it grips Like the name says it grips your makeup and it makes your makeup last all day. It doesn't fill pores and stuff like that It's strictly like a primer that's good for like making your makeup last forever So I really love this guy and then also a product that I rediscovered this year it's the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. It looks like this. I don't know if it's a primer. Um, I guess it is. And this just makes your face look flawless. And the Hydro Grip I use when I'm wearing makeup, obviously. But this one I use under makeup or even if I'm not going to wear makeup. If I just put on um, moisturizer and like don't wear makeup for the day. This just makes your skin look so nice. I'll put this over my moisturizer. And like it says, it just makes it look like a priming filter. So... I rediscovered this guy and I'm honestly almost out and I'll have to buy a new one. But I really love that and I'm glad I rediscovered it. I am always so scared when I wear lip gloss that I'm going to get it all over my teeth. But Next up, let's get to foundations. I have two liquid foundations and then a powder. So foundations, I can't remember if I talked about these last year, but if I did, I mean that just says a lot. This year, I don't think I tried too many new foundations i or if i did they just didn't replace these ones which says a lot so it's the beauty blender foundation i've done a full review on it i will link it down below i love this it's pr like pretty full coverage medium to full buildable but um more on the full coverage side and matte mine's a little dirty because i'm wearing this today um but yeah it's more matte and i wear the shade 3.25 if you want to see a little bit more details i did a full review i'll leave it down below and then the other favorite is the NARS, what is this? Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I love this foundation. This one is more full coverage than the Beauty Blender, like right off the bat, but the Beauty Blender could get there by building it up. Um, but anyways, this one is more full coverage, but it, it has like a natural, it's not as matte. It's like a natural matte finish, but throughout the day, the more you wear it, the more luminous, I would say, it looks. And if you don't like that, you can powder it, but I love that. Um, and I love this. I have it in a few different shades and I, I literally love, it would take a lot to replace this foundation, put it that way. So I, I think I've also done a review on that, so this foundation, so I will leave it down below. Um, they're both full coverage. If I'm wearing foundation, it's kind of like all or nothing. Usually I like a full coverage foundation. One is matte, one is more luminous. Take your pick, but they're both really good. For concealer, I only have one because it's literally the only concealer I wear anymore and it's the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer and the one I use mostly is the shade Almond. I'm also wearing it today. It's pretty full coverage, um, but it has like a natural finish. How the fuck is my battery already dying when I just put it in? Let me finish about this. Um, it's full coverage, but it's not drying. It's not matte. It doesn't make your under eyes like crepey. So I love it. The two, what is it? The Tarte um, concealer. I used to love that, but I just find it a little bit dry if you have dry skin. This one gives you pretty much the same coverage, I will say, but it's more hydrating, which I love. It makes you look more youthful. So that's the concealer. Let me change my battery real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, that was so annoying, but 
Um, okay, after concealer, I guess let's talk powders. I recently talked about these in my like winter favorites. Just, I don't know what I called it, but it was in a recent favorites video. Um, one of them anyway, I think. But the two powders I've been loving is the KKW... I think this is just called like the bake powder and it's the shade two. I love this for what it says for baking under my eyes, but specifically only under my eyes. This powder, it looks tiny, but it's lasted a really long time. And I guess it's because I don't use it for my whole face. Um, it has like a pinky tint. It's not completely translucent. And I like the pinky tint for my shade, like my color, because I just find it corrects like dark under eyes a little bit better and it's really finely milled it doesn't make your under eyes look crepey and dry and I use it to bake only under my eyes and sometimes like if I want to brighten my chin or like my forehead I'll use it there but not all over my face and then the powder that I use all over my face I have rediscovered this used to be my favorite and then I stopped using it for like a couple like three years or two years and then this year I rediscovered it and it's the Laura Mercier um translucent powder I stopped using this for a while because I thought it was too dry for my skin sometimes I still think that but I use this for the rest of my face for all over my face it makes your skin look really nice I think I just didn't like it underneath my eyes and because I don't use it underneath my eyes it doesn't bother me anymore this has like a more of a translucent or like yellowy tint which I love and they do make this in I think a deeper shade now um, which is good and this just makes your skin look airbrushed and if it is too dry I always use something else after that which I will get into now but those are my two favorite powders um, and after it I always use MAC Fix Plus this is like ride or die it's almost empty and I always use this every time I do my makeup I use this and when I travel I have the mini one I always have it with me and if I don't I would cry I really do like that um, it just, if I use a lot of powders, I'll just go in and like, like literally douse my face in this and it helps it not look as powdery and I just love it. It makes your skin look more natural. I use it for everything to be honest, but I love that. And then the other setting spray that I liked this year, this is the Huda Beauty Resting Boss Face. Um, I hate the smell of this, I'm not gonna lie, and I don't spray this all over my face. I use this in a very specific way, and I do use other setting sprays, but, like, I switch those ones up. But I use this for a specific reason, and I always just spray it on my beauty blender, and then I kind of, like, dab it on my face, and I do feel like this lasts, not last, it makes your makeup last forever. Like, if I... For example, today, I did my makeup at like 9 o'clock in the morning and it's 10 o'clock at night right now. So I've been wearing my makeup forever. Um, and this just helps your makeup stay in place. It says it's waterproof and ultra matte finish. I don't know if it's waterproof. I haven't tested that. But it does make your face more matte. So if you have like put a lot of glowy products, I do find it does mattify the skin. But I don't mind that. It makes your makeup last forever. And I will only use this if I know I'm going to have a super long day or like an event or something then I'll use this and I like it. I hate the smell of it, I will say that. Um, but I feel like if you spray it on your beauty blender and then just dab your face, it's not as crazy. And then I forgot to talk about one other powder with my foundation, so I'll say that now. It is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin um, Powder Foundation. I use the shade Y335 on an everyday basis. And I have used this so much this year. It just use like this, looks like this. And I actually do use the sponge that comes with it. Usually I don't like the applicator that comes with these things, but this one is really good. And I use this like most of the time because I don't wear a full face of makeup most of the time. If I just want to look put together, I'm going somewhere and I want to get ready like really quick and not look like I'm wearing makeup, but not look like a hot mess, you know, I'll just put on a little bit of concealer and then powder foundation sometimes even just with a brush and just brush it all over my face to be like super quick and out the door but still look a little bit put together um i love this for that and also i can use this sponge and build it up and wear it like on its own and still look glam and just wear bronzer and stuff over top i just love it quick like for a quick makeup day not like a full glam but if i still want to look a little bit glam you know i love this so that's that. And I feel like you can put on so much of that and never look um, cakey and powdery and gross. And the longer it sits on your skin, it kind of melts in and looks nice. Looks nice. So 
yeah, I love that. Bronzers. Bronzer, I feel like you already know what my favorite bronzer is. I'm wearing it right now, and it is the Fenty Beauty Bronzers. I have two shades. I have Caramel Cutie and Island Ting. Island Ting is just a little bit lighter. I'm wearing it on my face right now, and Caramel Cutie is a little bit darker, and I wear it when I have a tan or when I just want to look like I have a tan. So I love these. They're buttery. They blend so beautifully. Um, and I just, I love the colors. They're a little bit of a warm toned bronzer. So if you don't like that, you won't like these, but I love that. So I just feel like these go on like butter. They make your skin look so nice. They look natural and they're just so pretty. And you look like you have a really nice tan. So I love these. Let's talk about a cream bronzer. So I do usually... I do usually do like a cream contour or a cream bronzer if I'm going to be at an event or wearing my makeup for a long period of time. Um, and the one that I've used a lot this year, it's not actually a bronzer, but it's the Makeup Forever um, Ultra HD Stick Foundation in the shade Y505. And it's just like a deeper shade, if you can tell. And I use this as like a cream, I'm not going to say contour, I'm going to say bronzer because it's definitely a warm shade on me, but I prefer that. I don't necessarily contour. And I just put it on with a brush and tap it out with my beauty blender because it blends so nicely and it gives you like a nice warm like glow and then I just put bronzer on top and it just kind of gives it something to stick to and it makes your makeup last forever and it warms up your skin so nicely and it looks like skin because these blend so beautifully and they just look so nice on your skin so if I'm going to do like a full glam and I want my makeup to last forever or look a little bit more youthful and like dewy I'll always put this underneath like after I do my foundation and concealer before I powder I'll use this and then instead of using a powder to set my face I would just put the powder bronzer on top and it just looks and your makeup looks last forever so this is my favorite go-to like cream um bronzer that I use okay moving on to blush I have a cream blush and then a powder blush I'll start with the powder and my most used blush this year I think I've talked about it and I just love it it's the Charlotte Tilbury blush in the climax they look like this all of her blushes and it's this color it looks deep almost like a bronzer with like a pinky tone in the middle you just I just swirl it together and put it on my cheeks and I just find it to be literally the prettiest blush ever and I wear it every day. It's like a muted rose. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a, it's like a great every day. Let me swatch it. What's the shade? Mauvey? No, it's like a muted rose shade. I just, these are so, blushes are so hard to swatch. That's what it looks like swatched. Can you see it? You can build it up, but it's just like the prettiest everyday blush, in my opinion. And then my cream blush that I love, it's a Stila Convertible Color Dual Lip and Cheek Cream. Looks like this, and it's in the shade Camellia. And I just use it on like a stippling brush. It's like gone in. And they, these build so beautifully. Again, I use this like under... But look at these colors together they go so well together they're so pretty it's just the most beautiful like mauvey that's the shade mauve muted rose it's just a beautiful everyday color it gives you like a little pinch of like pinky mauve on your cheeks and it's so pretty and i use this underneath the um powder blush and then i guess okay eye products I can't mention an eyeshadow palette. I just can't because I don't wear eyeshadow every day. And when I do, um, I switch it up. But I do have two eye products that I discovered this year that I love. The first is a glitter and it's the Hourglass Glitters. These just come like this. And they are so pretty. They're so easy to apply. They're like creamy. And I just apply it with my finger. But like look at that. Can you see that? It's so beautiful and it doesn't really dry out as long as you keep the little stopper. I just find they look beautiful. You, they're easy to apply with your finger and it's just the best. There's no mess. You don't need a glue. I love that. And then the other one is a Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize. It's a cream eyeshadow. This is in the shade Bet. It's like a copper shade and again... I just apply it with my finger and like look at that these are so pigmented they're not glittery it's more of like a sheen but it's beautiful and I just can't live without that 
Let me wipe my finger here. And then for lips, let's talk lips. For lipsticks, I have one favorite brand of lipstick. And that's Charlotte Tilbury. This year I discovered these Charlotte Tilbury. I forget what these are called. The brand of lipstick. Hot Lips, I think. And they come in packaging like this. I'm wearing one right now and it's called Dance Floor Princess. The packaging is honestly like to die for. It's like this leopard beautiful packaging. And this is more of like a pinky shade. I'm wearing it on my lips right now, so I'm not gonna swatch it. But the formula of these is so creamy. I love Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks in general. And the other one that I love is called JK Magic, and it's a little bit more of a nude, but they're so creamy, so buttery, pigmented. Uh, they're just gorgeous. So I've been using these a lot, like rotating my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. And my other favorite lipstick of all time is a Too Faced lipstick, and it is called Birthday Suit. It is the perfect, perfect light nude shade. That's what it looks like. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like a pinky nude. It's light though, but I love it. Favorite. I If I had to pick a favorite lipstick ever, it would probably be this. And the formula, again, is like so creamy and buttery. I really don't think I wore liquid lipstick that much this year. I pretty much, I think I could count on my hands how many times I wore liquid lipstick this year because for me, it was the year of like lipstick, regular lipstick and gloss, like juicy lips. So those are the lipsticks I love. Now let's talk lip liners and lip gloss because that's a hard one in it. But, and then the other one is Oak. Like if you could see, she's been used. And this is like an older um, lip liner too, but I wear this one all the time. Like if I'm just wearing like an everyday look, you can see it's a lot more like of a lighter grayish like true nude where spice is like a little bit darker and it's more of like a mauvey brownish nude and this one is just like a light neutral nude if i want to like really overline my lips oak is my perfect color um so yeah that's that and then for the glosses i have two to mention first one again i tried to wear a lot of the stuff on my face right now but the first one is the Fenty Beauty Gloss I just love these in every color I'm just talking about the color right now but I love every color of these and I have every color this one is fussy and it's more of like the pinky shade it makes your lips look so juicy oh I just spilled some like look at how that came out it's so luscious it's so juicy it smells like candy it is oh, they're so good, so glossy, not sticky, and they make your lips look so juicy. That's the word I'm going to say. Um, so I love every shade of these lip glosses, and I will forever buy every shade. Unless they're like those crazy orange and like fuchsia ones. I don't like that. But And then the other gloss is by Pat McGrath, and it's the shade Flesh Astral. It has a little bit of like shine in it, and it's more of like a nudie beige that's what it looks like look at how shiny that is the glitter is like tiny but it makes your lips i feel like that's what makes your lips look juicy because the venti one has like micro glitter in it too but not to the point where like you can feel it when you rub your lips you cannot and they this one smells like not like candy this one smells like cake like vanilla cupcakes so so good i love this so those are like my two favorite glosses, um, but this is my favorite shade by far in the Pat McGrath lip gloss, but for the Fenty, I love every shade. And then, okay, lip balm or like chapstick kind of thing. I live on the Jouer Lip Enhancer. I love this, I have like three, they're everywhere. Um, it's like an everyday lip balm. I use the Laneige Sleeping Night Mask at night, but during the day, always this Jouer one. I just like it and it's clear. Last up, okay, finally, I feel like I've been talking forever and my camera has shut off like three times. So, for eyebrows this year, I actually switched it up and I used kind of new things. To set my brows is always this Ready Set Brow by Benefit. This is just the mini one, but it's just a clear brow gel. Um, I'm always wearing it and the brush is awesome. I just love this. It's waterproof, it keeps your brows like in place and I have like the straightest brow hair ever and I love this. That's just a mini one. But, and then for pencils, 
Um, usually, most of the year, I was wearing this CoverGirl one. This is in the shade Honey Brown, and it is like a dupe of the Anastasia Brow Wiz. It's just like a tiny pencil. It's creamy. It's not too waxy, so I don't feel like it's tugging at my brow hair, um, and I love it. The shade is not too warm, and it's just perfect in my opinion. I guess I can like swatch it, but that's it there. It's like a perfect neutral brown. It's not too warm. It's not too red. Uh, and it comes with a little spoolie on the other end. And it's just really creamy. It's affordable. And in my opinion, it's a dupe for the Anastasia. If not better because I haven't even touched my Anastasia since I tried this one. This is my favorite brow pencil like from the drugstore or from high end. Other than this next one. But I love this guy. And then... I I bought this and I didn't use it and then I kind of like shocked my own collection here and I fell in love with this and this is the Urban Decay Brow Blade. It looks like this. The only thing I don't like is that it doesn't have a spoolie so I always have to use that one like in my hand just for like the spoolie um, but I love this and it's what I'm wearing in my brows. Now I have the shade Taupe Trap and it basically comes with a pencil on one side and it's also like a fine tip like the brow is which I love and again this pencil is really creamy I don't like a really waxy brow pencil um, and then this has like a little ink like felt tip almost like a felt tip eyeliner brush but for your brows which is nice because it makes them look like natural and like microbladed and if you don't want to like just go ham on the pencil you can kind of just like flick this and make it look like brow hairs and you don't have to like have fake brows I don't know but this just fills them in and it looks so pretty. I love this and I'm not going to lie, for most of the year I used the CoverGirl but for the last couple months I have only used this because I love it and I like the color too with my darker hair. So I have been loving this, especially in this taupe trap. Only thing, like I said, is I always have to have this in my hand also just so I can like brush up my brows because I just feel like I need a spoolie and this spoolie is so embarrassing because it's so dirty but... This is real life. I use it. Anyways, that's all of my 2019 favorites. Um, and like I said, Happy New Year. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you liked it. This year I plan on being more consistent on YouTube. But yes, I hope you liked it. If you did, be sure to give me a like. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Okay, so really quickly, I just wanted to say, as I'm editing this video, I realized I forgot to mention my favorite highlighters. How? I have no idea. But one of them was the Anastasia and Amrezi highlighter, which is limited edition, so I didn't want to talk about it anyways, but I did love that a lot. And the other one was the Laura Geller Gilded Honey, which is more of like a golden highlighter, but it's still light enough for me to wear. So I don't know how I forgot that, but those are my two favorite highlighters this year.